How do you overcome? Uh, the feeling that you, which is that you suck at everything. That kind of feeling you come to my life. So I feel like that all the time, <laughs> truly. Um, validate. The reason I went into that sales job is just for myself to have the numbers to know that I'm good enough. Um, and, and so one of my new clients that uh, has come on my, on my coaching program, which I stopped getting new clients on, but um, his main problem is, for instance, that. And so what I'm trying to give him is a validation of his skills. Because once you have that validation of, I am good enough, I have something to give, um, that's when you can do all the enough, like the innovations and cool stuff. Because as you're doing the cool stuff, you're always gonna have those thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I'm uh, like, what's gonna happen like next month if I don't have enough money? So. For me personally, what happens in those moments is, oh, I broke that record, oh, it's totally fine, it's gonna work. And so, if I don't get a client for a week, I start thinking like that. And then I think, the okay, worst case, like I'll go and I do that. So, I validated my skills, and now it carries me through the, the hard moments. So the same goes with you, you need to validate your skills. What skill is it, is the question. If it's coding, for instance, Let's assume you get a job at Facebook or Google. I don't think you can get a bigger validation than that. What's going to happen then is you'll have to accept that you're good enough. <laughs> the problem is accepting that you're good enough. And once you get that big job, then you're like, oh, okay, cool. What's next? <laughs> and then you can always go into another industry and you'll be like, worst case, I'll do that. Um, and if you don't get that job, you'll get a job somewhere else. And then you'll have to accept again that you're good enough because you've gotten a job. People actually pay you money to do this. So now you're good enough. Um, when I made my first sale, I made my first sale in Lightning Video Editors. It was like a 400 euro sale, which is nothing. But at that moment, I, uh, I told everyone I was a professional videographer, like professional film and uh, it was 400 euros, it's, it's not real. But you have to accept that you're good enough. And that little arrogancy that I had is the thing that kind of carried me through. Um, you always have to stay humble enough to listen to the people around you. But you need to be arrogant enough to say that you're good enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you should be arrogant enough to make them believe that you're better than the others. Yeah. You have to trust that when you say, and this is this is the thing that made it for me. So there's a movie called Pursuit of Happiness by mm -hmm. Will Smith. Yeah. So I, when I was like in that shitty situation, like I was watching that movie every day almost. Like not every day, but I was watching it a lot. Because there's this one scene uh, where Will Smith walks into the boardroom uh, with all these big guys, and he's like covered in paint and like it's like his interview. And the guy asks him, like, uh, what would you do if, like, a guy with paint walks in into, like, this investment firm? Like, would you hire, like, what would you ask me if I hired you? And then uh, Will Smith answers, he must have had some good pants on. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then, and then, but he says, um, no matter what, and that, that's the thing that, that's how I operate my business. No matter what you present to me, if I don't know the, like, I will know the answer. And if I don't know the answer, I will the do answer, the best to find the answer. I will do yeah, my I best, know. like, I will do everything in my power yes. to find the answer. And that was the reaction that I had to Coca Cola when they called me. So they called me, and I was like, okay, so I will do whatever it takes to find the answer. And usually it's enough. And so you have to trust that you have that skill set. You have to trust that you will do everything in your power and your everything in your power is good enough. Um, it's only a problem when your everything that you do is not good enough. But I can assure you that if people really want something, they'll do it. Elon Musk is going to Mars, so.
you know, it's like, and it starts small. It starts small. So, just watch that scene and we get in our I think we're running a bit of time, so let's not keep Loba over time. Loba, maybe if you want to share something, they're two weeks away, three weeks away from graduation. They're going to pursue different paths, some of them web developers, some of them completely different things. Uh, what do you want to leave with them at the end? Stay in touch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, just don't give up and trust your. I think the biggest issue in the room that I've covered from all of you is trust yourself. Um, and if you're struggling with trusting yourself, like uh, talk to people around you, validate your skills, um, and, and stay in touch with Theodore, for instance. Stay in touch with the people that were here that know that your skills are good enough, because like it will always pop up. Like you will always feel not good enough in some way, or something will pop up. The problem is too big for you, and that's when you call up somebody here call up Theodore, you call up someone somewhere, and they will assure you that you're good enough. And to the question of mentorship, those are also mentors. The people that will make you that you're good enough, that's it. Sometimes it doesn't come internally. Sometimes it comes from others. So I hope that. Uh, <laughs> Give it up to Lova. Thank you so much.